Hey, what's up guys? The Tech Spot here, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get a free Spotify widget on iOS 14. Now, quickly before I start, if you do want this Dragon Ball Z theme on your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch on iOS 14, my video will be down below in the description of how to get this exact theme, so I have custom icons, custom widgets, and it just looks super, super cool. Anyways, for the free Spotify widget, what you want to do first is open up the App Store, and what you want to do then is go to the search and type in Tune Track. that's T-U-N-E-T-R-A ck all one word hit search and this should be brought up right here it was in beta now but now it's fully released in the app store so all you guys do is tap on the download button right there and there we go now we have it now if you go over here on your home screen it'll first show up in the app library most likely so that's where you'll find it you can see there it is tune track so let's go to open this up and right off the bat it loads up some music let's go to go to the middle tab which is what we want and you guys can see would like access to your apple music so just hit ok and you can choose apple music spotify or last fm so it's not only spotify that this works with this is super cool anyways i'm going to use spotify so i'm going to go ahead and tap right here and of course it's going to open up the spotify application to authorize it of course i'm assuming that you guys already have the spotify application installed anyways once here you want to scroll down and tap on agree and just like that now it is logged in so I can go back over here you guys can see it says signed in anyways if I go back over here I can see it shows the top tracks currently available and you can also just sort by artists or tracks and stuff like that but uh, you're not going to really be using this part at all so anyways what you want to do is simply x out of here and now let's going to put our apps into edit home screen mode so let's go over here and I'm just going to tap and hold edit home screen tap on the plus icon just like adding any other widgets and now you guys can see one for tune track so there it is right over here all you gotta do is tap on it and you guys can see they have one for apple music and it's going over they have one for spotify so apple music and spotify you can even add both if you want to i'm just gonna add the spotify one so tap on add widgets and just like that we now have it now currently it's not showing anything so what we gotta do is actually open up spotify and play some music so I haven't used Spotify in a while. I use Tidal, but Spotify I use here and there. Anyways, I'm just going to go to play and let's see. Okay, so I'm playing this, some music right now. Um, just going to play some other song. Uh, nah. Okay. Okay, so this is from a while back, but yeah. Okay, so anyways. All right, so let's go ahead and just keep on playing this. I'm going to put my phone volume down. But you can see right now it doesn't show up or it does show up. But if it stays not showing up for you, then what you have to do is again open up tune track and a tap on the bottom right and over here if you go into scroll down you will find an option to refresh widgets now this will make sure that it works if it's not really showing up anyways all you gotta do is tap on refresh widgets and hit close and also i just like the right streaming service that you guys are using over here so tap on spotify and it can also customize the widgets but this is a paid feature unfortunately so i won't be showing you guys this because i know you guys like to keep it free over here on the channel but yeah you get all the app themes and icons complete widget customization so if i go and go back over here you guys can see i could choose different icons which is cool um and monochrome inverted so i could also go back oops let me go back and I can also tap on themes and they have different colors that you can choose from as well. But I'm not sure if that's worth it. Anyways, let's go to exit out of here and you guys can see the widget is playing. Now, this isn't the best widget that we have right now, but it's like the only one for Spotify. So it's still cool to have something show up on your home screen. So it, all it does is show the album all cover, the song name and also the artist. And that's about it. Now, if you're going to tap on this, it just opens up right here. And so, yeah, what I recommend to you really use this is just put on your home screen. I am actually going to move it to a different page on my home screen just because I don't like it on my last page. Anyways, it's going to move it. So let's move it uh, right here. All right. Anyways, once I have right there. Okay. So what you want to do for this little trick that I'm showing you guys is first open up the shortcuts app. Show the shortcuts. So let's go bring this up. And what you want to do then is tap on the plus icon tap on add action tap on media and over here you want to scroll down until you find where is it so keep on scrolling down uh it is called skip forward so skip forward and skip back now you could add both of these and i'll show you guys how to do that so i'm going to go first add skip back so all i gotta do is tap right there and i can see skip back to the beginning on iphone anyways all i gotta do now is tap on next and name this i'm just gonna name this back 
or whatever you want because it doesn't matter anyway let's tap on done and i'm also going to create another one so again add action let's go back to media and this time i'm going to go forward so you basically get some media controls right here which is super cool anyway skip forward and just like that just hit next and i'm gonna name this skip as well i think i already have this one so i'm just gonna name this skip two because this is my second time making this so you, you guys will just have to name it skip or whatever you want anyways tap on done and exit out of here and now what i would do is open up the settings application scroll down over to accessibility and over here you want to tap on touch and then scroll all the way down to back tap now you guys can see what i'm doing right here but anyways for the double tap i'm going to go tap right here and i'm going to choose let's go ahead and scroll down to the shortcuts so these are all our shortcuts that we added so i do have a bunch but anyways you want to scroll down to the ones they made so for the double tap i'm gonna just do skip okay so there's the skip to that I made but anyway skip is the same thing so i'm just gonna go back right there and let's go back over here so it's really cool so basically every time i just double tap on the back of my phone i know my phone is kind of shattered but it still works <laughs> anyways once i double tap on the back it's like just like that it'll go ahead and skip the song okay so this is a really cool feature to have because it kind of brings that control so you can have a widget just on your home screen and if you don't want to play that song all you gotta do is double tap and it will go to the next song so that is super cool and i would recommend for the triple tap just go back song so again we're gonna go back down to series shortcuts it should be in the b since that's what we named it and there it is back so go tap on that let's go and exit out of here and now you guys can see for the double tap i have it as a skip and for triple tap, I have it to go back the track, okay? So when you have that set, you can go to X out of here. And um, I don't think I have Spotify Premium, but let me go ahead and try this. But it does work. I did test this out unless I did run out of skips. But all right, so uh, looks like it did run out of skips. So discover a premium feature, but it does work. Trust me on this. So if I go ahead and double tap right here, it'll go ahead and forward the track, okay? And if you go ahead and triple tap, It'll go ahead and go back a track, okay? So you guys will see the changes take effect over here. You guys can see, there it is, boom. And this is super, super cool. So it doesn't really have on-screen controls, which is why I'm showing you guys this. Um, I need to turn the volume down, otherwise I'll get copyrighted. But yeah, again, on this widget, it just shows you this information right here. I really, really wish I had play, pause, and skip and go back controls, but it doesn't. Once we have a new widget that does do that, I will make a new and updated video. But this right here is the best that we have as of right now. In the future, again, I think we'll have something cooler and a lot more useful. But this just makes it cool. You can have it on your home screen, see what song is playing. And if you want to skip it, just go ahead and double tap. And if you want to go back a track, you just triple tap. So yeah, anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to drop me a like and also check out my other videos and share this video to help out others. I've got so much more exciting content coming, so make sure that you subscribe with notifications on. This is a tech spot. Enjoy the rest of your day and peace out.